Hi guys, and welcome back to another video on Stormworks. Uh, this one's kind of a continuation of the binary seven segments, just to answer a question on how the seven segment reads the information from binary and in association to channels. Uh, this one I'm actually going to help kind of use like a, a Google Sheets to kind of explain it. So let's do that here. So I am going to use just a plain board just to show how we can put numbers on this one. And that one using binary. And then another way that I like to do it for more of a visual representation on how to turn these on and off. Anyway, let me explain to you in Google Sheets how the binary portion works. Uh, I'm going to turn down our headset here. Anyway, this is kind of my way to mock up the logic boards and turning on all these channels. So let me turn them all on first to show you the representation. So each binary bit value that you've seen before represents a channel. So channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then here's the binary value associated with each channel. Now you can take this all the way up to 32 as that's our current limit on channels. So you can have a maximum of four segments, seven segments in binary. And then again, 8, 9, 10, 14. So this is for our second segment. And here, so this is the number value that we would need to put in to light up all these. So let's see how that looks. So right now, as you see, I got my power. The composite output is in. And this is just a very simple controller. So I have a number and then number to composite binary. And so, like if I want to light up, so again, what was the number? 16,383. This will light up all of them. So what if I want to do, if I want to say hi, or like put a message, that means I have to get a one, get rid of four, and keep 13 and 12. And eight, there it is. So this means I'd have to put in a value of 6262. So if I do that, 6262, let's update it. And you see, we have hi, perfect. So, um, another way that I think I would prefer to do it, just because it's more visually represent representation, instead of figuring out what's the binary, what's all this stuff, um, is this way. So, it is a bit more work, obviously, but what I have here is constant numbers, which all equal one, and then a threshold gate, which equals, so equals one. And all you have to do is basically, is when you want to turn on one of the seven segments, you just connect it. Then so this is again, channel one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're starting channels one to seven. Uh, I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. And now I have two. But the only thing is I have to change this to eight. And then you just string them along just like that. So let's do the same thing. So for now, you know what, let's just turn on a few of these. Just so you can see that how it works, or it is working. 
Hopefully it's working. Should be working. Let's update this and spawn. Yeah, there we go. So, for example, if I want to say hi, just like last time, I just need to go. Oop. There we go. Let's just get rid of this. Go like that. I think that looks like hi to me. So if you're a lot better at more of like the visual representation, that work, system works better. But if you know the binary, you know the mass, your logic is going to be a lot more simple. So anyway, I think that's the two ways of doing it. And so just remember, um, you can only have four, you control four seven segments in one microcontroller, just to the limitation of channels. If they ever decide to open up channels to whatever number you want, then obviously you can do a lot more. And uh, just if you, so you can have it. Again, here's the numbers. And if you want to go higher, I will do that as well for you. I can only go to Z in Google Sheets, so anyway, or Z, depending on where you're from. I should have said Z because I am Canadian, but anyway, it's 14, so the next one here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21, the only thing is we don't, can't go any farther, yeah, I can only go to 25 in here, I mean obviously I could go down in rows, but you get the point. So remember, it starts at one, times it by two, as you go up, and every one that you go up, that's a channel. Simple as that. Well, not simple, anyway. Hope this helped, and hope you have a great day. Thank you.